so moving on to the next concepts uh, the concept is we call it the multiplexer in short we call it as mux okay so this is we call as multiplexer in short we call it as a mux okay what is multiplexer now multiplexer is something which is having multiple inputs okay let me tell you which is having multiple inputs okay one output multiplexer is a device which contains this is a multiplexer device okay which contains multiple inputs one to n i have given multiple inputs one output in short we call as mux let me tell it once again multiplexer is a device which contains multiple inputs uh, one to n and one output okay so we call this as data inputs okay and we have these have control inputs okay we call them as control inputs so uh, we have multiple inputs and one output so what does this multiplexer do is like it will select one of the input among the multiple inputs there might be 100 inputs or there might be any number of inputs okay so it is going to select one input from the set of inputs to output we have only a single output okay so among the possible inputs only one input is selected as the output so then which input is selected as the output that will be decided by this control inputs okay control inputs be represented as m okay so for example if we have 2 to the power of n m is equal to n so if we have m is equal to 3 okay 2 to the power of uh, 3 is equal to 8 right 2 to the power of m is equal to n m value is 3 2 to the power of 3 is 8 okay m refers to control inputs n refers to data inputs okay if we have three control inputs then the number of data inputs will be 8 so if we have three control inputs then the number of data inputs will be 8 what is the number of outputs 1 okay this control input plays a major role here this control input will decide which data input has to be passed to the output we can't pass all the data inputs to the output okay only one output can only one input can be passed to the output which input we are going to pass that will be decided by this control inputs let me tell you so 2 to the power of m is equal to n remember this one m is equal to let me assume m, if m is equal to 3 if three inputs like a b c control inputs though those control inputs is going to decide which data input is to be passed to the output 2 to the power of 3 uh, m if m value is 3 then 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8 so then there should be 8 data inputs not more than 8 only not less than 8 or not more than 8 it should be 8 if we have three control inputs number of data inputs will should be 8 if we have two control inputs like m is equal to 2 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 so four data inputs two control inputs like this so let me write here so if i take a b as the control inputs so then the number of uh, outputs will be number of data inputs will be 4 0 2 3 one output okay if a b is equal to 0 0 if a b inputs are 0 0 then it is going to select 0 if in a b inputs are 0 1 then it is going to select 1 if a b inputs is 1 0 then it is going to select 2 if a b inputs is 1 and 1 then it is going to select 3 as the output so if the a b inputs are 0 and 0 this zero input will be passed as an output if the a b inputs are 0 1 then the one input is passed as an output if a b inputs are 1 0 then two input is passed as the output if a b is 1 and 1 then three will be passed as an output this is for uh, two inputs i call this as a 2 is to 1 multiplexer because so sorry this is 2 is to 1 sorry 4 is to 1 multiple so we call it as a 4 is to 1 multiplexer why it is 4 is to 1 multiplexer we have four data inputs one output 
so four data inputs one output so multiplexer i call it as four is to one multiplexer i can write like two is to one multiplexer so if it is two is to one multiplexer two to the power of one is equal to two so one data input like a so how many control inputs zero and one one output so if a is equal to zero then zero will be passed as an output if a is equal to one then one will be passed to the output so this is called as two is to one multiplexer getting so four is to one multiplexer means four data inputs one output so two is to one multiplexer means two data inputs one output so in case of four is to one multiplexer how many data inputs will be there four data inputs will be there if we have four data inputs with the number of control inputs will be two okay so if we have two data inputs the control input will be one similarly uh, if i come with respect to like like a b c so three data inputs right sorry three control inputs then it should be zero to seven so totally eight so we have three control inputs two to the power of three is eight right like this so i call this as eight is to one multiplexer so we have three control inputs so two to the power of three is eight eight data inputs there so start from zero to seven so one of the input will be passed on the output that will be decided by Z, a b c if a b c is equal to zero 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 then zero will be passed as an output if it is zero zero one then one will be passed as an output if it is one zero zero one zero zero means four so four the four will be passed as an output if it is triple one then 7 will be passed as an output if it is 101 4 plus 1 5 5 will be passed as an output so the basically multiplexer is something which we have more control inputs sorry more data inputs and one output uh, so among the control among the data inputs one input has to be passed on to the output that will be decided by the control inputs okay so the same thing i have written here so this is uh, this is for 4 is to 1 multiplexer so ab uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 if the inputs if these are ab is control inputs if they both the inputs are 0 and 0 the output will be d0 if it is 0 1 the output will be d1 if it is 1 0 the output will be d2 if it is 1 and 1 these are control inputs if uh, this if this control inputs is going to decide which data inputs has to be passed on to the output okay why is an output so 0 0 quarter d0 selector the 0 1 quarter d1 selector the 1 0 quarter d2 selector the 1 1 quarter d3 selector agutte okay so how it works actually let me show you so look at here so a and b are control inputs this is a this is a bar we have an outgate here this is b and this is b bar okay we have three four and gates because this is a four is to one multiplexer right so so 4 is to 1 multiplexer means we have four data inputs d0 d1 d2 d3 four data inputs and one output that is y if we have four data inputs how many control inputs will be there two control inputs two to the power of two is four four data inputs two control inputs these two control inputs will decide whether d0 to be passed to the output or d1 should be passed to the output or d2 should be passed to the output or d3 should be passed to the output so if i make a b is equal to 0 0 if i pass 0 0 okay let me assume a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 if a is equal to 0 here it uh, look at the connection for this and gate so we have three inputs one input is from d naught okay i have written d naught here so the other input is from b bar so look at here i have taken connection from b bar so if b is equal to 0 what is b bar 1 so if I select a D0, this is 1 and 0 will be converted to 1 here. This will be 1. So look at this connection, one more connection. This is from A bar. So if A is equal to 0, A bar is 1, right? So this is 1. When all the three inputs for this AND gate is 1 and 1, the output will be 1. Right. So AND gate, remember the AND gate table. When all the inputs for the AND gate is high, the output will be high. So the output is here is high. Okay. 
so let me take what happens when a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 with this and gate or this and gate okay let me take here this is d2 right d2 is 1 look at this connection this connection is from b bar so b bar means 0 is here b bar is 1 this is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 look at the third connection this has been taken from a not from a bar look at this connection this connection is taken from a not a bar so a n is a 0 either so this will be 0 so if any one of the inputs for this AND gate is 0 the output will be low 0 okay similarly this will be 0 this will be 0 for a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 so d naught will be active 1 means active 0 means deactive okay so this will be like 1 0 0 0 now so if you want the output should be low in case of our gate all the input should be low if any one of the inputs in case of our gate is high the output will be high so which output will be here now it will be d0 because d0 is high remaining all are low so d0 will be high getting our gate ali all inputs low idra matra output low varutha output zero agutte any one input high itu andre output high agutte so right now it is d0 not is selected if i make 0 1 0 1 next d1 will be selected if i make 1 0 next d2 will be selected if i make 1 and 1 then d3 will be selected getting so this is a uh, 4 is to 1 multiplexer similarly uh, 4 is to 1 multiplexer means we have 4 data inputs 2 control inputs uh, 8 is to 1 means so let me write 2 is to 1 means 2 data data inputs and control inputs outputs so output will be always one okay two is to one multiplex means two data inputs one control input four is to one means four data inputs one output two control inputs eight is to one means eight data inputs three control inputs one output sixteen is to one means sixteen data inputs so if you want sixteen data inputs that is nothing but uh, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, right? 16 data inputs means 4 control inputs. So 4 control inputs, 1 output. 32 is to 1 means uh, 32 data inputs and uh, 5 control inputs. Uh, this is 1 output. If we have 1 control input, the control input will be A. 2 means AB. 3 means ABC, like this. AB. So if it is 2 control inputs, AB. Uh, if it is three control inputs it will be like a b one more c will comes here like this if it is four control inputs a b c d like a b like c d okay uh, five control inputs means like a b c d e like this so let me show uh, look at this so uh, how many con control inputs we have a b c d we have two control inputs sorry four control inputs like two to the power of four means 16 start from d0 to d15 16 data inputs we have four control inputs we have so based on the control inputs which data is input has to be selected to the output will be decided getting right so this is what exactly the multiplexer is